Hey y'all, welcome back to LaFleur Acres Farms. I'm Shimon and today I'm just gonna be working here in the garden. Um, so I thought I would just come and bring you along with me so you can see exactly what I'm doing um, and kind of give you some updates of what's going on here in the garden for now. Stay tuned. Kind of far away, but um, I'm over here trying to sit here and do this, um, which is more irrigation for the garden. Um, I have on here um, the shutoff valve, which is the red top right here. And then, of course, over here, this is just um, a right angle so that I can connect it to go across the walkway. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do this just so when summer comes, I am not out here trying to water in the middle of the heat. So pretty much right now or wintertime or... Uh, well, for us South Texas folks, right now is the best time to either put in your irrigation or to put in some type of watering system if that's what you want to do. Um, you may not be able to afford that. You can do any of, of course, like um, water bottles with water in them. We uh, get it to um, wicken out of the bottle into your soil. Um, or like I said, you can find pretty much um, for any budget or anything like that to, um, to find some type of irrigation for your garden, especially during this, uh, during the summertime here in South Texas. Um, here, if you're having a hard time pushing this all the way on, what I like to do is get um, either a lighter or something, something with some heat, but not too much heat and pretty much what it's doing is just uh, loosening it up and then it tightens back around there once it gets back cool but it allows you for the push on here without you hurting your hands and stuff because I bruise my hands so much trying to push these uh, tubings onto this uh, end of these but yeah so now it is done so I have now this long piece right here with a shutoff valve and that allows me to turn it off for the sections that I need to turn off in case there's like something going on with the, the sprinkler in the bed and each one of the beds have one of these. And then I also put some down the walkways just in case I need to repair, fix or anything like that, the actual tubing where the water comes out. And then yeah, it kind of helps you out a little bit um, like I said, these are really, what I'm using here in the garden is really inexpensive. I'm not using any fancy name brands or anything like that. It gets the job done. In my previous garden, I used these, these or any other cheaper ones, and they worked out just fine for me. So just do with what you have in your budget. Um, yeah, doesn't need to be fancy, guys. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead on and connect this onto um, the piping that it, the tubing that I already have down here, and then I'll show you guys what it actually looks like. But I'm trying to keep it together, y'all. Trying to do what I can with what I can. All right, y'all. So let me show you exactly what I've done down here with uh, the tubing and the uh, irrigation. Right, y'all. So this is my main line going right here on this side. And then I wanted it to come across my pathway on this side um, so that I can get irrigation over here to these two beds. So, excuse the lemon tree, it's not dead, y'all, it's still green. Um, it's from the freeze and the shade and the, the freeze cloth that I use was not a good one. So um, anyway, back to this. Um, so what I did was I teed that off right there over here on this side. And then I came across, I used landscape staples, put one there just so there's like no tripping hazard or anything like that. Came across, that is the shutoff valve that I showed you already. And then on this side, another lawn, uh, a landscape staple another one to keep from tripping and then my piping my tubing sorry goes all the way down there so um it will cover these two beds these two beds and anything that i put up here in the front so that they're able to get watered the same time my other stuff gets watered 
So as y'all see, after that hard freeze that we had, a lot of stuff did not come back. Um, and I was waiting for a little bit of time to pass by. I still have a couple greens there. Um, I added more compost on here and now I just need to get some wood chips to put it on top or some hay or straw to put it on top just so that the soil is covered. I've also added a sprayer down the middle here on each one of my beds. Um, that way at least it's getting watered because it only had two drip lines on each one of those. Um, yeah, so now I'm making sure everything is going to be able to get watered, especially during the summertime, I'm getting prepped for that. And yeah, y'all, it's coming together slowly but surely, but I'm really excited that it is finally, finally, finally looking like an actual garden now. Um, I have some things I need to do up here in the um, entrance, and then we'll do a full garden tour once I get um, my messy corner over there cleaned up um, and a couple other things cleaned up. So we'll do a garden tour soon. Um, but for now, thank y'all for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's about it, y'all. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and of course, if you have any comments or anything you would like to see or every, anything that you want to comment on here in the video, make sure you do that too. Um, make sure you hit that notification button. Um, thanks y'all for watching. Be blessed. Bye.